if we guys go ahead and take a look at this, everybody, or at least the majority of people that I saw, if we have our vector v, which is, um, you know, v is equal to 7 comma 4, right? And so if we're taking u, then that's basically going to be 7 comma 4 all over my unit vector, or my magnitude, which is square root of 65. But how can we kind of like simplify this? Um, well, again, guys, you know, think of a vector is basically has two components, v1 and v2. And the other thing I want you guys to think about is think about that scalar that we did over there. So you guys would agree dividing is the same thing as multiplying by a fraction, right? Dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So in technical terms, I could, re I could rewrite this as 1 over square root of 65 times 7 comma 4. Yes? And then I could treat it just like multiplication like I did over there. See? See, see how I, I did that? Like I was preparing you for this? So it's the same thing. And you guys will be happy to know on your quiz and on your test, I am not going to ask you to simplify this. We can just leave our radicals in the denominator. OK? So that's our unit vector. Now, oh, I forgot to mention. Why don't we just go and try this? Let's just have a little fun. You're never going to be asked this, but I just want to prove it to you. Because remember, by finding the unit vector, it has the same direction, but it has to have a magnitude of 1, right? So why don't we find the magnitude of this? It's actually not that bad. So 7 squared is 49. Square root of 65 squared is 65. So therefore, this equals this equals um, 49 plus 16 is square root of 65 over 65, which is equal to the square root of 1. Right? So you can see by this unit vector, what we just did is we created a vector that has the same